Hi, I'm Maida, and today I want to share to you how I mix my snap solution and how to add them in my plants. And we will also check the progress of my tomatoes and some of my leafy greens. Now, first thing that I should have done when I started this system is to make sure that my pet bottles are painted in light color, like white or blue or other opaque colors because darker color paints attract or absorb more heat than lighter color ones. Right now, I do not have lighter color paint, so we'll do with this one. And maybe on our next video, we will compare lighter paints and see what is the difference between them. So let's put it here and uh, let's get started. So first, I will put Snap Solution A in a 25 ml container. I actually have a small Petri dish, but it's missing right now. And let's see. Okay, 25 ml. And we will put them here. And then we have to mix it. We have to mix it thoroughly. It's our snap solution B. And let's mix it again. Okay, this is good. Now, I want to show you one pet chai plant. This is a kind of Chinese cabbage. And here's the roots. This is another one. I think this is far more interesting for me. Is it has a bigger root system. I've ate some already, that's why they have less leaves. Now let's see where should we put this one. Or I think I should uh, put them or just like start everything in a new system since it's new water. And okay, let's start with our flowering plant. Let's see what we have. Okay, so this part is turning brown. Hopefully, it will got pollinated. Here's the roots. And we have some new growth here. Okay. Now let's put this aside. Okay, let's get here and you have to make sure that the roots are not submerged totally put it up until this part. Okay. okay, so it's up until this part. And let's see if you can see the roots. Let me see. Okay, so only up until halfway of the roots. And in a few days, we have to add more water because this tomato plant gets a lot of energy and nutrients from our solution. Now uh, let's try the next one. Let's try with this pet chai plant. Here's the roots. I think I should wash this one first. I'll be right back. Please wait. And I'm back. So after some drying and washing, I will put another solution in this container. There you go. And pop it like that. Very easy. Now let's go to our tomato here. And oopsie, oopsie. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I've noticed this morning that it's having some small flowers too. 
Now, a friend of mine asked me why it has long roots compared to my other tomato plants because this tomato is grown from sponge from the start. So I'll just put it in a container and let the roots grow more and more. And this happened. I think this is a very good style if I have some pebbles in a larger container so it can become more steady. Okay, now let's add our water solution here. Maybe up until here also. Now, I think we have to change the system on how we sell fruit. Like from the producers to the consumers. Okay, so here you go. And let's see the roots. So, see it's not totally submerged and I reckon that this tomato plant will get more water so I have to refill it at least once a week until we get some, uh, some nice juicy tomato. And that's how I mix my snap solution and how I add them to my plants. Now let's talk about root rot. In the previous video, I uh, mentioned that two of my tomato plants are suffering from root rot. And one of the reason is that some pathogens, bacteria, fungi, or rotting matter in our water is affecting the roots and some bacteria coated the roots and they cannot get enough oxygen that's slowly choking our plants and they we didn't do any uh, measures to save them they will now i have a good news and a bad news one bad news is that one of my tomato plant tomato plant number two if i remember is suffering from root rot and here's leaves are turning yellow and the roots are totally gone or at least the long roots now what I did is that I've cut off all those dying roots and so this tomato plant in a solution of hydrogen peroxide for a bit to make sure that all those bacteria are dead and I am trying to soak them again, or I'm trying to soak this again in just pure water. Now, I've checked it this morning, and as you can see, new roots are sprouting again. So I do hope that this will have a good fighting chance and survive. Now, what we will do here is I will snip this dying branches there you go and a new sprout will shoot now where is it okay so i will put it back this is actually just unchlorinated water and let's go into my other tomato plant who suffered from root rot and i have to transfer it in soil because I believe that soil will have uh, or uh, it will uh, give more fighting chance to survive in soil than just in water. Now I think that's true because when we check here, yeah, some of the leaves are dying like this one and this one and here's another one. However, new shoots are starting to grow, like here, one, two, three, four, oh, five. And it gives me the idea that its roots are trying to recover 
and my plant has a big fighting chance of surviving this root rot. So that's it for today and again I do apologize for the noisy background. I will study how to edit my background sound so I can make a cleaner video and uh, I would appreciate it if you comment what should I do, how can I improve and if you like my video uh, please like it and uh, subscribe. And again, please stay safe and have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.